Today's notes are rationalizing the denominator of a fraction. To rationalize the denominator of a fraction where the denominator is not rational. So we have an irrational denominator. When you rationalize, that means you're finding an equivalent fraction, so you're not changing the value. in which the denominator is a rational number. So when it comes to radicals, rational versus irrational. Some examples of irrational would be radical 3, radical 2, radical 5, radical 7. Rational would be something like radical 4, radical 6, radical um, 9 is we can take, I'm sorry, not the square root of 6, um, is we can take the square root. So 4, 9, 16, because the square root is 4. To eliminate the radical in the denominator, we multiply the fraction by another fraction that is equivalent to 1. And we know that anything divided by itself, so right here, radical 2 over radical 2 is 1. We do this in order to produce a perfect square underneath the radical. So 2 times 2 is 4. Anytime you multiply a number times itself, you are squaring it. And then that allows us, when we take the square root, we get a whole number, which is rational. So in example number 1, 3 divided by the square root of 3, I multiply by the fraction of radical 3 over radical 3 because radical 3 times radical 3 gives me the square root of 9, which is 3. If you can, I'd like you to get to this point, radical 3 times radical 3, and go right to the 3 because any radical times itself is just simply the radicand. Now in the numerator, since this 3 is not underneath the radical symbol, we just simply write the product. 3 times radical 3 is 3 radical 3. So here's my answer. Now we always need to simplify when it's possible. And since I can cancel the radical 3's, I'm left with radical 3 over 1, which is simply radical 3. If you type in on the calculator the original fraction, which was radical 3 over 3, and type in your final answer, you should get the same decimal. That's how you know you did it correctly. Now, you will get the same decimal at this point, so even if it's not reduced all the way, you'll still get the same decimal as those fractions are equivalent, but you need to take the step to reduce it to simplest form. Number two. 4 over radical x. So to get rid of that radical x, which is irrational, I multiply by itself as radical x times radical x is x. And whatever you do to the denominator, you must do to the numerator to keep the fraction equivalent. So we get 4 radical x over x, which cannot be simplified. Number 3, the square root is uh, 64 divided by 7. I want you to realize, as we talked about in previous lessons, that uh, fraction is the same written like this, as well as written horizontally, okay? The square root of 64 divided by the square root of 7. Now the square root of 64 is 8 over radical 7. I need to Rationalize is that denominator is irrational, so I multiply by radical 7 over radical 7, and we get 8 radical 7 over 7. Final answer. Can't reduce 8 sevenths, so that's done. And the next question, you can do a couple of different things here. So one way would be to multiply by radical 6 over radical 6. That'll give us 2 radical 18 all over 6. Reducing 18, or simplifying that radical, 18 is 9 times 2, so that would be 2 times 3 radical 2 all over 6, which would be 6 radical 2 over 6. Canceling the 6's, final answer is radical 2. Now another way to do that question would be to simplify before we even multiply 
as 3 goes into 6 twice. 3 goes into 3 once. So this really becomes 2 radical 1, which is 2 times 1, or 2, all over radical 2. So now when we rationalize it, multiplying by radical 2 over radical 2, we get 2 radical 2 over 2. We can cancel and we get the same answer. So there's going to be more than one way to do these problems. You just need to um, do the way that feels most comfortable to you. Number 5, 15 over 2 radical 5. So I'm going to multiply by just radical 5 over radical 5. You could multiply by 2 radical 5 as long as you're multiplying by 1, so anything divided by itself. Um, 15 radical 5 and then 2 radical 5 times radical 5 would be 2 radical 25, which 2 times 5 would then be 10. So 15 radical 5 over 10, I can reduce because 15 tenths, they both have a common factor of 5. So 5 goes in there 3 times, 5 goes in there twice. We have 3 radical 5 over 2. 8 tenths, so once again you can reduce that, but I'm sure many of you will just move forward in multiplying by radical 10 over radical 10. So we end up with radical 80 over 10 which 80 simplifies to 16 times 5, 4 radical 5 over 10, which 4 tenths can be reduced. Uh, 2 goes in there twice, 2 goes in there 5 times, so we end up with 2 radical 5 over 5. If we did reduce it first, it would reduce to 4 fifths, and then we would have square root of 4, over square root of 5, which is 2 over radical 5. Multiplying by radical 5 over radical 5, we end up with 2 radical 5 over 5, which is the same answer. Number 7, the square root of 7 over 2x. I cannot reduce 7 halves, so I'm going to break it up and then rationalize by multiplying by radical 2x over radical 2x. In the numerator, radical 7 times radical 2x is radical 14x. Radical 2x times radical 2x in the denominator is 2x. Since that cannot be simplified, we are done. Number 8, you can reduce first, or you can break it up. So we have 3x cubed over square root of 16x. So I can multiply by radical 16x if you'd like. And we end up with 16 times 3, 18 carrying the 1, 48. So square root of 48x to the 4th over 16x. Now 48, the largest perfect square to go in 48 is 16 times 3. x to the 4th is a perfect square all over 16x. Square root of this is 4x squared, radical 3, all over 16x. 4 goes into 16 four times, having some pen issues. And then x goes into x squared x times. So final answer would be x radical 3 over 4. Now if you decided to simplify first, x would cancel and then it would be x2 up top. So when I have radical 3x squared over the square root of 16 now, because I reduced with the x's, this is really radical 3x squared over 4, which has a rational denominator. So the only thing we have to do is simplify the radical in the numerator, which would be perfect square, non-perfect square. The only perfect square part of that expression is the x squared. So final answer would be square root of x squared x, radical 3 over 4, which is the same. So the method in orange is much shorter than that in the green.